Someone stole two ATMs at different convenience stores and the smash and grabs were both caught on tape. One was in Fort Washington, Maryland, the other in Northeast Washington. The suspects used their truck to crash into one of the stores and grab the money machine. Jennifer Donlin live from the Northeast robbery scene with the new details and exclusive photos of where the ATMs were eventually found. Jennifer. Well, Atria, the ATMs and the pickup truck that sources believe were used in both of these brazen smash and grab thefts was found just about three miles from this Exxon behind me. Sources tell us that someone walking behind a church saw the truck there and an ATM machine. First, they smashed their truck into a gas station in Fort Washington. About half an hour later, they smashed into an ATM in DC. In both cases, the brazen thieves picked up the dismantled ATM machines, loaded them into a black pickup truck and rolled out. We're just grateful that no one was injured. Fast forward just hours later and here's the truck in a picture obtained exclusively by ABC 7 News found abandoned in Northeast DC. Sources say it's the same truck used in the smash and grab thefts this morning. One of the stolen ATMs was in the back, broken open and empty of cash. Just feet away, the second ATM was tossed into a wooded area, cracked open, the money was gone. The window and the frame. How um, frustrating is this? Oh, well, it's so frustrating, you yeah. know. The Fort Washington case happened just before 4 a.m. The thieves smashed the truck into the Exxon on Indian Head Highway, climbed into the store wearing masks, and picked up the ATM. About 25 minutes later at the Exxon on Benning Road, which is a straight shot down 295 from the first case, the truck pulled in, backed into the ATM, and popped it off of its hinges. I know it's hard out here, but, you know, to do something like that, it's, it's, it's not right. And eventually, you're going to get caught because crime doesn't pay. The truck with sources say was stolen back in June and the empty ATMs were dumped in the 700 block of 51st Street in Northeast, three miles from the Exxon on Benning. The thieves were gone. It is a little alarming because you wonder, you know, uh, where they'll strike next. And for that reason, Derek Grayer, who is with the Capital Petroleum Group, they own about 200 gas stations in our area, and it just so happens they own both of these Exxons that was hit. He's worried about the safety for his employees. As far as these suspects, we know that we saw two suspects in the video in Fort Washington, but we saw three in the video here at the Exxon behind me. That hunt is on. Reporting live from Northeast, I'm Jennifer Donnell on ABC 7 News.